Ich bin gerade auf dem Weg zu Square Enix, wo ich gleich äh, ein kleines Gespräch haben werde mit einem jungen Mann, der eine Prothese trägt, die erstens 3D gedruckt ist und zweitens aus Deus Ex kommt. Crazy, oder? Well, uh, my name's Dan. Uh, I'm a volunteer for a company called Open Bionics. Uh, we're doing a direct collaboration with uh, DSX, the game. And what I'm wearing is a 3D printed prosthetic hand of Adam Jensen's arm. Open Bionics is a company based in the UK, in Bristol, at the Bristol Robotics Lab. We're 3D printing superhero hands for amputees of all ages. And we're really excited to be at Gamescom. So for at the moment this one is a prototype, so I'm field testing at the moment, so it's not able for me to keep yet, but hopefully soon. But for now it's sort of just a prototype to show everyone what we're get we're accomplishing. So. so basically the way it works is basically we're using EMG sensors in the top and bottom of my arm to make it open and close and so how you would like tense your muscles up and down. So uh, that's how it works really. So I'm a big DSX fan and I'm a big like uh, working with Square Enix as well. I had a bit of a Meltdown, I was like, sorry, I'm, what? I'm helping with what? So yeah, it was great to be part of that. So being at Gamescom and stuff like that for me has been surreal. So being a gamer, being here wearing this and seeing people's expression is what it's all been about. So yeah. Uh, so we co-founded Open Bionics because we wanted to make advanced bionic technology more accessible. So we wanted to take the best robotic hand ever made and then make it affordable for the masses. We also wanted to make robotic hands that look like they came from the movies and from video games because they don't exist yet. Like if you go to the hospital, you get a really ugly looking hand. You don't get a super cool superhero hand. Um, so we want to start making bionic hands that are almost fashion, fashion accessories. It's how low cost it is and how functional it is. It's not just something that looks cool. It actually adds benefit. It can, it can help an amputee in everyday life. Um, it's also open source. So DSX ha has allowed us to share the designs. So anyone can download this hand for free from the internet and 3D print it at home. Well, we share the 3D design files um, and we share detailed instructions on how to put it all together. Adam Jensen's arm is incredibly sleek. It, it's muscular and we've been playing around with making muscular shapes for a while now. Um, and the Titan arm, it's so geometrically shaped, it's, it's uh, really beautiful. It's almost like a modern piece of art that you wear. Um, so we couldn't think of a better team to work with. And they've spent like 10 years designing these arms, so they've thought about it a lot. So from the, the advanced bionic hands that are currently available, um, they're not that different. The technology isn't that different. They have the same control system, which is EMG uh, based. So that means when Dan squeezes his muscles in his arm, he can tell the fingers how to move. Um, I think the main standout thing that makes us different is using 3D printing to make these lighter and more affordable. If there was a hand available that was lighter, faster, stronger than a human hand, and you had a very labor-based job, then why wouldn't you want that augmentation? So it makes sense if you think about it like that, but we are talking a very, very long way in the future. <laughs> Ziemlich krass, was wir gerade gehört haben. Die 3D gedruckte Prothese von Daniel ist erstmal erschwinglich. Die Preisspanne zwischen klassischen Prothesen und 3D gedruckten Prothesen ist einfach horrend. Und Open Bionics hat mit der 3D gedruckten Prothese aus Deus Ex Human Revolution quasi möglich gemacht, dass Daniel erstmal eine ziemlich fette Prothese aus dem Spiel, das er ziemlich cool findet, bekommen hat. Und ihm die Möglichkeit gegeben, eine günstige Prothese zu benutzen, die dann auch noch gut funktioniert, wenn das mal nicht die Zukunft ist. Außerdem ist Daniel ein ziemlich netter Typ gewesen. Folgt ihm auf Twitter unter Ad Daniel J. Melville.